Hello. Hello. Where are you? Where are you? Hello. Hello. Oh, there you are. Hi. Good morning. Today is Wednesday, May 6th, 2020. And I'm happy to see you. It's also Grandparents Day. So if you're a grandparent and you're joining us, welcome. We're glad to have you. I brought my magic mirror with me this morning. So here it is. You can see it's my uh, magic mirror and it lets me see you the way that you can see me. So I'll look in my magic mirror and I can say, good morning, Jonathan. Good morning, David. Good morning, Leah and Summer. Good morning to Nathan and Abigail. Good morning to Daniel and Hannah. And good morning to you too. When I was little, one of my favorite shows was called Romper Room and the teacher had a magic mirror. Then she, she said it let her see into our living room so she could see us and she could greet us. So I wanted to try that. Let's greet each other this morning by doing a uh, mirror greeting and so we're going to do that by uh, standing up and I am going to do an action or a pose and I am going to greet you and then you are going to copy me as if you're in the mirror and you'll do the same pose as I am and you'll greet me back and then after that you'll turn and you'll greet the other person a uh, person in your family with your own pose and then they'll copy you and you can go around for as many people as you have. Okay, so here we go. Let me see. Good morning, friend. Your turn. Good, now pause the video and you can do your own. Welcome back. So this morning when I was looking for you, it reminded me of a time when I was little, I was maybe four or five and I was in a big store with my parents and wouldn't you know it, they got lost. I couldn't find them anywhere. So store security came and they found me and they took me to the customer service desk and then they called my parents and sure enough, my parents came and everything was all good and we were all reunited, but uh, thankfully they got found. For our sharing today, I'd like you to take a moment to share with each other about a time maybe when you were lost or somebody in your family was lost or maybe you lost something that was special to you and just talk about what it was you lost or who you lost or and how that felt to you so pause the video and take a minute to share it can feel a little scary sometimes to be lost can't it sometimes it feels a lot scary or maybe you've just felt alone even when there's people around you feel lonely or maybe there's something that you've had some thoughts about and those are thoughts you don't really want to share with anybody that can happen too so um I want to share with you a passage from uh, scripture from Psalm 139. King David wrote these words, and I think he might have experienced some of the things that we experience. Let me read you a few of these verses. Psalm 139. Oh Lord, you have searched me and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your right hand, your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me and the light become night around me, even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is as light to you. God sees us wherever we are. He knows everything we're thinking. You don't even have to um, tell him about it. He knows already. You can tell him about it. Of course, but uh, you don't ever have to feel alone or worried. The verse that uh, is our theme for Christian Education Week comes from Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. 
And I'm going to read that verse to you because I think it really fits well with this idea. This is just the very first part of it. It says, so do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. So let's read those words together now. You ready? So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. Isaiah 41, verse 10. We're going to pray together, and today when we pray, uh, we're going to pray for the school board of Timothy Christian School. It's uh, Wednesday on our Christian Education Week calendar, and that says let's pray for the, uh, for the school board. The school board is a group of parents um, and some, maybe some grandparents or some people who care about our school, and they volunteer their time to help oversee our school and to do some planning, and they put in a lot of work, and they have a really tough job. They have to make really tough decisions. It was their job to have to decide if we were going to close our school for, um, for the present time. They're the ones who hired the new school principal who's coming in September. Uh, they have to decide how we can better serve our community and how we can serve God together as a school. So we really couldn't have TCS without them. So we're going to pray together. And uh, bow your heads with me, please. Heavenly Father, thank you that you made us, that you see us. You see us when we're lost or when we're feeling alone. You know that our, the thoughts that are in our heads, you know the thoughts that make us worried or excited, the things that make us feel nervous or even relaxed. You know all about us. So help us not to be afraid, Lord, not to fear, but to trust you. Thank you, Lord, for our school board. For those men and women who serve you by overseeing our school, please give them strength. Give them courage and wisdom to do their task, especially now when things are so different from usual. Give them joy as they honor you and try to make school great for us. Lord, we also thank you for our grandparents. Even though we can't have them with us at school today, we know that you see them and you are with them just like you are with us. Lord, please help them to know how much we love them. And we pray that you will help them to enjoy the video that uh, has been produced so that will give them a glimpse into our school. Lord, we pray for a good day of learning and of playing. Help us to honor you in all that we do. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. For our activity today, we're, I, I'd like to encourage you to have a really good game of hide and seek. If you can do it outside, great. But if not, or maybe you don't have space to, to do that outside and to really hide, play it in your house. And if you can't do that, then maybe you can play hide the object. That used to be a favorite with uh, my kids and the kids I used to babysit. And so somebody can hide an object and you can give them hints to say warmer or cooler if they're getting, if they're getting far or close. And uh, so I hope you can have fun with that. I also want to leave you with a song that uh, I have for you. It's by City Alight. It's called All My Ways Are Known to You. So some of you may know this song already, some of you not so much, um, but it's pretty easy to learn. And I want to see if I can get this shared for you. <laughs>
you enjoyed that song. It's time for us to say goodbye. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'm going to say goodbye to Matthew and to Jasmine. Goodbye to Jacob and to Ethan. Goodbye to Emma and to Caleb. And goodbye to you too. Have a great day.